I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna play. I've not been to La Palma since 2019 before the lockdown started so it's just fantastic to be back here in Punta Gorda on the island of La Palma in the first week of June in 2022. We're staying in a villa that we're renting down in Punta Gorda and usually we image from the villa. It's got all the facilities that we need and it's nice and comfortable and it's warm at night but unfortunately the weather's been quite unstable this time which has meant that we've had to go up to the top of the mountain several times which is no great hardship in itself because you get absolutely spectacular views. And at 2,400 metres above sea level, the top of the mountain is usually nicely above cloud level, so we've had really nice, clear, dark skies. On the first evening that we went up the mountain, we set a time lapse running, and it was amazing to look down and watch the clouds broiling around the island beneath us. The sunset was quite spectacular, and it was beautiful to watch the Milky Way rising around us. The first time on the mountain I imaged using my Star Adventurer and I was imaging row off in Antares which has got some beautiful dust lanes and I really enjoyed processing the image afterwards. The second time that we went up the mountain we were up rather later than we anticipated due to a rather lengthy meal in one of the fantastic local restaurants so we didn't get to the top of the mountain until after dark which meant that we were setting up in the dark with one head torch between four of us and it was really cold and there was quite a strong wind. My fingers were really quite numb by the time I'd finished setting up the equipment. We got into quite a good routine. We were able to power the EQ6 mount which we borrowed off the car battery of a hire car and I used my MacBook Air to run Polemaster and then to guide using PhD2 through the evening. We imaged M8 and M20, the Trifid and Lagoon nebulas and even though my EOS R is unmodded I'm really happy with the five minute subs that we took through the evening. It was rather cold. I also ran a time lapse overnight of the Milky Way rising which came out rather well I think. On the other evenings we imaged from the villa although we were playing hide and seek with the clouds and it usually ended up with us backing the equipment down before rain drew in in the middle of the night. I'm afraid that I've suffered from a couple of newbie errors on this trip because it's so long since I've used my portable imaging equipment. The first time I used the red cut I made the diabolical error of leaving the Bartonoff mask on the end so my first run of images were all ruined. Then on the second night I was using the Star Adventurer. I was guiding using PhD2 and the program was throwing up all kinds of errors and it was a really interesting guide grok. Never seen anything quite like it. I spent ages redoing my polar alignment and checking everything else and in the end when I pulled the back off the Star Adventurer to check the batteries I forgot to put the batteries in which again is an unforgivable error and one that I won't make again in a hurry. A few things have changed on the island since we were last here. There was the big eruption in 2021 and you can quite clearly see the eruption side on the side of the mountain and the dark lava flows that have gone all the way down into the sea. Unfortunately about 2,000 people lost their houses during the eruption and the lava flow spread out over a huge amount of land. I've really enjoyed walking around Punta Gorda and looking at some of the beautiful flowers. This is a geranium but there's also bougainvillea and some trumpet-like flowers and all kinds of bright things. Looking at the gardens there are a lot of spectacular fat and tall cactuses growing and the gardens are generally covered in the tufa lava stone to stop weeds growing. Prickly pear is also quite prevalent here on any piece of land that's left unattended for too long and I imagine it's a really difficult task to dig it up and get rid of it. There's also some beautiful bougainvilleas and geraniums and all kinds of flowers that I can't quite identify blooming around here. It's nice to get away to a tropical island. The island of La Palma is located off the coast of northwest Africa. La Palma itself enjoys some very stable airstreams and it's the first time that we've experienced cloud and rain during one of our trips over here. But I guess that's uh, not too bad. <laughs> The 
The Milky Way doesn't rise until about midnight, so sometimes it's been a bit of a challenge looking for a target before it came up, because we wanted to jump onto the deep sky objects in the Milky Way as soon as they rose. During our visit we were lucky enough to see the conjunction between Mars and Jupiter, which was rising above the top of the mountain just as we were packing down our equipment on a morning. I really enjoy coming to the island of La Palma, it's a super relaxed atmosphere, gives me a chance to practice my very elementary Spanish and enjoy the climate and the hospitality of the local people. Image some things that we wouldn't normally be able to image from under British skies and of course the skies, at least from the top of the mountain, have been beautifully clear and dark and I'm not disappointed with the data that I've collected at all. It's been really a good trip. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel.